What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. Let's jump right on in and start talking about all of the grease points on your John Deere 5M series tractors. So on almost all tractors, you're gonna have a grease point here on the front axle, if not multiple, and same is true here on the 5M series. Now what you're going to have is two grease points on the front axle trunion. So right here underneath the hood, underneath our hood guard, we'll see this round piece here that is connected to our front axle. This is the piece that allows that front axle to pivot to give a little bit of ride quality while you're in the machine. Now you're gonna have a grease point over here on the right hand side on the front of that cast iron piece. And then we're gonna have to move to the back side of that front axle where we have our second grease point, And this needs to be done every 50 hours. Now your 5M tractors are gonna come in two different segments you're under 100 horsepower and over 100 horsepower. Now in your over 100 horsepower tractors, you do have the option of having a front hitch. So a front three point hitch. If that's the case and you have that on your machine, you need to make sure that you are checking those grease points as well, again, every 50 hours. Now, what you're done with the front of the machine, we are gonna skip completely over the middle because there is nothing in the center of the tractor that you have to worry about on these five M's. But once we get back here to the rear, you are gonna have three different sections that you need to be checking out. Now, first is going to be our rear axles. So you are gonna have a grease zerk on each side of your rear axle. So one over here and one over here as well. These are gonna need to be greased every 250 hours. These are going to be for your rear axle bearings. So it's important that we make sure and hit those every 250 hours just to be safe. Now, next is going to be, once again, these tractors you can have either that over 100 horsepower, under 100 horsepower, and you may have a reversible PTO shaft. So if you have that reversible PTO shaft, you need to make sure and take it out and grease it every 1,000 hours if that's applicable to your machine. Last is going to be our hitch. Now, every tractor, no matter if you are down in the below 100 or above 100, is going to have these points. These are gonna all be 50 hour points or weekly if you use this rear hitch a lot. But we are going to have a bunch here on our three point hitch. Over here on the left hand side, you are going to have one at the top of our three point draft arm here that raises and one at the bottom. Then here on our lift cylinder, we're gonna have one at the top and one at the bottom. Then if we look here on our actual top rock shaft here, we're gonna have one at the top. And if we go all the way down at the bottom, next to our drawbar we're going to have one at the bottom then when we move over to our right hand side you're going to have pretty much the exact same setup except for on our one draft arm here we're only going to have one grease point here we move back on our cylinder once again we have one at the top one at the bottom then if we move back here on our rock shaft one at the top and then once again on the right hand side of our drawbar all the way down at the bottom one down there. Now we want to make sure, like I said, that we're hitting these every 50 hours or weekly, depending on how often we are using that three point. Now, the only two that I left out are gonna be here on your center link. Now these are also gonna be recommended to be every 50 hours, but if these don't get used as often as just your two main links here, then definitely just stick to the 50 hours. You don't necessarily have to worry about weekly, but a lot of times if we're using two of our three point linkages we're probably using the top so make sure we don't forget about our two right here on our center link now as we know maintenance is a huge part of keeping up with our machinery so we want to make sure that we are following these on our tractors so guys i hope this video helped you out i hope that you liked this video if you did we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel also guys if you are looking for more videos like this or videos just over john deere equipment in general make sure to check out the rest of the channel and as always guys thanks for watching we'll see you next time hey guys make sure to check out this cool video and this one buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here